The stock market appears to be unstoppable. We just hit a record high for the S&P 500 with a firm close over 3,400. And the Nasdaq continues to march higher and higher, reaching for levels where the air is thin. At the same time, the median S&P 500 stock short interest as a percentage of market capitalization at the beginning of August was 1.8%. This reading, according to Goldman Sachs, is the lowest point since the brokerage began tracking the data in 2004. The short interest is down from 2% at the start of the year and well below the 15-year average of 2.4%. To me, as a contrarian, when the majority takes one position or another, I start to get as nervous as a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. So, let's take a look. An important way for an investor to track sentiment is to look at short selling activity. Short sellers tend to bet against stocks they believe have become overvalued and underperforming stocks that they believe represent businesses in decline. Short percent of float is an important metric for understanding just how aggressive a stock's short sellers are. A stock's float is its total number of shares that trade freely on the market and are not held by large institutional investors or company insiders. A stock with a high short percentage of float could be vulnerable to a short squeeze. A short squeeze is a large, short-term spike in share price triggered when short sellers are forced to close out their positions all at once. And as of early August, the five stocks getting the most attention were Apple, Alibaba, Microsoft, Tesla, and Google. But with the stock market moving higher, short sellers have been getting hammered. As an example, short sellers of Tesla stock are down an estimated $25.4 billion, according to S3 partners. But the punishment has been across the board, and as a result, as this chart shows, short interest is at its lowest level in at least 15 years. That means the long side of investing is getting overcrowded, and we should proceed with caution. I know, I know, that is so boring. Short sellers have added $1.6 billion of new short positions in the SPY, and that tracks the S&P 500 index. Other action in the Russell 2000 and the NASDAQ 100 indices implies investors' belief there will be near-term underperformance. However, remember that lower overall short interest also indicates complacency. As this chart indicates here, the only sector seeing above average short interest is energy. And this is one of the reasons I'm keeping my eye on energy for future opportunities. As for all other sectors, they are all seeing below average short interest. To you and me as contrarians, this should mean we should proceed with caution. All right, since I know your favorite pastimes are watching paint dry and grass grow, Let's go take another look at the VIX. And we're looking here at the six-month daily chart on the VIX through stockcharts.com. And the symbol is dollar sign VIX. And we've checked in with VIX a number of times. It's very, very stubborn. It has gone below 25, but it's staying above 20. There's a gap you can barely see over here in the left part of the chart. The gap is, say, somewhere around 22 down to about 17. If the VIX can close that gap, then maybe there's more downside. Downside in the VIX means upside in the stock indices. Upside in the VIX means downside for the stock indices. And that's what we're looking out for here. Starting to base again here in this area above 20. And being that the MAC, you can see here, both a fast line and a slow line are moving in tandem, but just barely below the zero line. So it's within striking distance of that zero line. And if it moves up above, that's when you can have a hiccup or worse. We can see here in the RSI in the upper portion, it's also below that 50 line. And so it's remaining relatively tame for now. But the fact that we are trending here in this mid-20 level, the fact that it doesn't want to go below that 20 measure, at least for now, 
Again, another cautionary sign. This could do more than a hiccup. So pay attention. And for today, that's Judog Charts. Thank you.